actor Paul Rubens, a.k.a. Pee Wee Herman, passed away, Lisa Kubota announced her retirement from voice acting, Shinji Aramaki is working for the unreleased Alien vs Predator, G-Kids is releasing Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.01 on home video, Uru Okabe's Good Night World is gaining an anime adaptation, and the latest news on Takehiko Inoue's The First Slam Dunk. What's up, this is Jeff, and this is your anime news source. This is Anime Minutes. Entertainment news website Variety reports that actor Paul Rubens, also known as Pee Wee Herman, passed away last Sunday, July 30th, after he was battling with cancer at the age of 70. Rubens was born in Peekskill, New York on August 27, 1952. He joined the Los Angeles Trophy called The Groundlings in the 1970s and started his career as an improvisational comedian, stage actor, actor, comedian, writer, and producer who was best known for creating and portraying Pee Wee Herman. He played television roles including The Pee Wee Herman Show in 1981 and films including Pee Wee's Big Adventure in 1985 and Pee Wee's Big Holiday in 2016. Aside from acting in his films and television, he also played voice acting roles including The Nightmare Before Christmas, Batman the Brave and the Bold, Adventure Time, and The Smurfs. The official Twitter page of voice actress Lisa Kubota announced that she decided to retire from voice acting and she did not give a reason for her about her decision for retiring. According to her post, her feelings on the matter were conflicted but she ultimately made the decision to retire. She thanked fans and staff for supporting her until now. She spent with everyone and the characters she met are her life's treasure. Kubota was born in Saitama on August 2, 1985. She began her voice acting activities when she worked at Mouse Promotion in 2015 and she played her first role as Ren in Konohana Kitan. She played major roles including Rosetta in Lapis Relights, Iyo Shindo in I'm Standing on the Middle Lives, and Woko Sekino in Dropout Idol Food Time. Anime director and mechanical designer Shinji Akamaki announced at the recently concluded Otakon last July 29 30th that he directed the unreleased Alien vs Predator. Aramaki noted that the 10 episode anime project takes place on a giant immigration ship, but he refrained from providing more details in case the project ever does see a formal release. The project releases tales featuring the iconic factions from the shared universe and the designs for the Alien Queen, which he personally drafted for the anime series. IGN posted an article last May 18th of 2023 about the project and according to Aramaki's Twitter, the project was completed in 2016 and he did not know why they didn't release it. The main reason that they didn't release the project is that following the acquisition of 21st Century Fox by Disney, which was initiated in December 2017 and completed in March 2019. Both Alien and Predator are owned by 20th Century Fox and the completed series has yet to be released from the Disney Ball. Alien vs Predator is a science fiction action horror media franchise created by comic book writers Randy Stradley and Chris Warner. It is a crossover between two media franchises including Alien and Predator depicting the two species as being in conflict with one another. G-Kids announced the release of Studio Kara's Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.01 twice upon a time on both formats including digital on October 3rd and physical that contains a Blu-ray disc and the collector's edition 4K UHD on October 17th. In celebration of the home video release, the company added that the animated film will return in selected theaters this fall. Both editions are for the physical release which is distributed by Shout Studio and the release will include a bonus video prologue short to Evangelion 3.0, you cannot redo animated film, and a manga short while the collector's edition contains a 28-page book, art cards, and a poster. The animated film stands on when Shinji Ikari is still adrift after losing his will to live but the place he arrives at teaches him what it means to hope. Finally, the instrumentality project is set in motion and will make one last grueling stand to prevent the final impact. The animated film was released in Japan in March 2021 and it is an updated version of Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0 which contains minor revisions to some animation sequences but does not change the film's story. Netflix announced that they are producing an anime adaptation of Uru Okabe's Good Night World and announced the details including the cast, staff, and stream date that streams on October 12. The cast for the anime series is Daisuke Hirose as Taichiro Akima aka Ichi, 
Nobunaga Shimasaki as Asuma Arima, a.k.a. Penta A, Akio Otsuka as Kochiro Arima, a.k.a. Shiro, and Aya Endo as Sayaka Arima, a.k.a. Mei, as the members of the same broken family who find peace. They played a virtual game called Planet as they discovered about each member and about the relation the virtual world has with reality and how they affect one another. Katsu Yakikuchi is directing the anime at the Anime Studio Studio NAS. Together with Michiko Yokote, it's a series composition. Rena Okoyama is a character designer. And Takatsugu Wakabayashi is a music producer. Michi Sanchi Bicho Beskusoha will perform the opening theme song Black Crack. Ed Noinis, consisting of Inui Toko and Machita Ochima, are performing the ending theme song Salvia. The series is published in Chokakogan's Ua Sunday from December 2015 to January 2017 and released in five book volumes. The official website of Takehiko in the West, the first Lam Dunk, and also the details of the animated film. Box Office Mojo reports that the animated film has earned an estimated opening weekend at $625,561 US dollars in the first three days from Friday to Sunday as of July 21st, and the animated film enters in the 12th spot. North American film licensor G Kids is licensing the animated film, and they will screen the animated film soon in Australia and New Zealand, which is distributed by Sugoi Company. It also added that the animated film received the Axis Satoshi Kon Award for Excellence in Animation for Best Animated Feature Film at the Fantasia International Film Festival, where the animated film has already begun last July 20th and ends until August 9th in Montreal, Canada. This year's jury includes Nadim Saidi, Aki Takabatake, and Arizona O'Neill. The animated film received positive feedback and said that it is a gem of a film too that enriches an already existing franchise while at the same time remaining open to viewers who never have seen or read any of the previous existing material. The animated film is already released in Japan in December 2022 and the story follows Ryota Miyagi as he plays a passion for basketball like his older brother Sota Miyagi and the members of the Shohoku High School basketball team as they strive to reach their goal in the finals of the national tournament. The theatrical film ends this month which is on August 31st. If you have comments or suggestions, let us know in the comments. Follow my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Manchester News, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Kifaboy. Well, that's about it for Any Minutes today is August 1st, 2023. This is Jeff, and this is Any Minutes.